Ruby, can you tell me your name? Uh, Chinese name? Uh, Jiang Yuzhi. Okay. And your American name or English name? Uh, Ruby. Ruby. Okay. Ruby, what is your date of birth? Uh, January 6. January 6. What year? Uh, uh, 2001. 2001. Uh, yes. Okay, good. Now, Ruby, what grade are you in right now? Uh, 10. You're in 10th grade. And in America, what grade are you applying to? Uh, 10th. 10th, okay. Now, uh, have you taken any TOEFL or SLEP or SSAT, any of those types of scores? Uh, not yet, but I'm preparing for TOEFL. You're preparing for the TOEFL? Yes. Okay, and what day or what date will you take the TOEFL? Uh, in this month, 26th. This month, February 26th, then. Yes. Okay, excellent. Good. Now, Ruby, so tell me, why do you want to study in America? Uh, because the style in the schools is, uh, I'm very interested in, in that. But I prefer to let, uh, let students be more like themselves, not the others person, like to be. <laughs> Good. So you think, so you feel that America is more open-minded? Yes. Okay, excellent. Uh, so, tell me then, your, what is the current school that you're in right now? Uh, international school. You're in it, you, you study in an international school? Yes. Okay, tell me more about this school. Uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, class with this study, like Chinese, English, uh, biology, uh, chemistry, like that. I don't really like that. You don't really like that? Yes. I, okay. I'm more prefer for art. But our school don't have the art project. We only have once in for class. But I don't think that that is enough for me. I see. So you want a school then that is uh, more into the arts and has more electives that you can take. Yes. Okay. Good. So tell me more about this interest in the arts. Uh, what kind of art are you interested in? Uh, painting and drawing. Uh, I've been learning art for very young since I, uh, and I really like it. To, I, and I want to be artist or designer in the future, so I prefer to for this school. Okay, very good. Uh, what other hobbies do you have aside uh, from painting? I can sing. I also study singing when I was five, but uh, for many reasons I do I didn't uh, continue it, but. Uh, I can also say now, and if uh, it's a good way to be a hobby. Oh, it's a good hobby. Now, uh, what kind of songs do you sing? What kind of uh, what kind of genres do you like to sing? Uh, pop music. Pop music. Okay, not tra not traditional or. Oh, we, I've been learned that, but not really like that. Okay, very good. Do you have a favorite artist? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay, very good. Uh, so. Tell me, Ruby, you're interested in painting, you're interested in music. What is it you want to be when you grow up? Uh, the, f the, the most uh, want to be is be a design, like a uh, painting, like, or to design for the game. Okay, so you really enjoy painting and you want to be able to create, uh, I guess, posters or create yes. characters yes. or... Ah, uh, for mm -hmm. for games. Uh, uh, yes, kind of. Uh, or be a uh, traditional artist, like just paint in a paper or that. It's uh, uh, it's a big concern. Uh -huh. you mean canvas painting? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, so your plan is to become an artist, and after high school, do you have plans on going to college? Uh, I want to go to college or university with with art. Okay, so you want to focus in the art? Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, so, tell me, Ruby, who has been the most influential person in your life? Um, my father. Okay, tell me why. Uh, he lead me, and he didn't uh, let me do anything. He uh, followed my choice, uh, like I want to go to America to study, and he agreed, and he surprised me. Very good. And he is very supportive of you studying in America then? Yes. Okay, very good. And he respects my choice. He respects your choice. Very good. Okay, Ruby, can you recommend a good book for me? Um, 
I didn't read. I, I always read novels. I don't think that is. Uh, That's so. fine. Tell me then. Tell me a, uh, a story that that you've read that you really enjoy. Uh, a name uh, a Japanese uh, novel. It's about murder, <laughs> like that. Uh, called. Uh, I don't know how to call it in English. Just a story talk about a five people in an you know, island, and one of them dead in the rock, and the rest four people try to know how who who killed those people, and and at least find out. But the the first one is didn't he didn't die actually, and he is the one who wanted to kill. Them. Okay, I'm sorry, continue. Yeah, con continue. Uh, and uh, and uh, finally they find, and the, he killed two person more, and the rest of two, uh, they find out who, uh, who is the one who killed all the people, and the, the story has a happy end. So it's a mystery then? Yes, it's you, very exciting. Good, so you like suspenseful mysteries? Yes. Oh, very good, interesting. Okay, good, Ruby. Um, I have a reading, I have an article for you. I want you to read for me. A read? Yes, please. Uh, people who spend too much on outnumber. Uh, be far, those who spend too little. But the mostless and silly uh, surreal peers and phenocom planners used to help uh, Anders spenders can guide the rest of us about when it's okay to splurge and when we should rest. Uh, tor tornic tornic uh, under spenders can be so terrifi terrified about running out of money uh, that they put off health care. Uh, Enormous needed ho uh, home repairs were deceived into Hollandin. Says a uh, final call, final call planner, uh, Rick Kasser of Rapper City, South Stoka, uh, for farming, farming central, expanded that as an investment and creating a plan that helps them see how much money can how much money they can spend without causing fun causing final call run can ease their distress he says uh, spend is not a good word for a phenomenal person uh, says color uh, author of concern concerns final call uncover your hidden money bells and transform uh, the role of money in your life is cannot uh, it can is almost waste uh, okay. yeah um, uh, okay so do you have an idea of what the article is trying to talk about uh, about money and good. how to control the money good good now it says here that there are people that like to spend money and there are people that don't like to spend money. Mm. Yeah. And so tell me, uh, what are some of the suggestions that they have? Uh, spend money uh, in your, your way. Like. Okay. Do, you think it's, do you think it's good or bad to spend money? Uh, uh, we actually, I think people all need to spend money in their life. It depends on what, uh, how many, how much money you can get. Uh, it's different with people, so it's actually not a good, uh, not not a bad thing. Okay, so the article talked about underspending. So, what are some of the reasons why you think someone would want to underspend? Uh, maybe they want to save money. Uh, like save money, the money they save, they can buy more, since they think they it's useful. 
Good. And what's your philosophy? Are you a, do you think that you're an overspender or underspender? Which do you think? Uh, you're, you're underspender. You're an underspender. Yes. So what are the what are the things that you are saving for then? Uh, like a game or makeup. Very good. Okay. Good. Very good. Good, Ruby. Uh, so last thing I want to hear from you then. Uh, can you tell me what is most important for you when deciding what school to what school uh, you choose to go to? Uh, the program and the the classes they prefer. Uh, is I, so I like art, so I decided to choose a school uh, is strong in art. Very good. So lots of electives. Do you care about the type of setting? So. It, Urban or suburban, is it okay for you or do you have a... Okay, very good. And do you prefer a small, because your current school is very small, do you prefer small schools or, or larger schools? Oh, larger schools. Larger schools. Okay, excellent. And uh, are you okay with religious schools? Uh, yes, okay. Okay, very good. All right, Ruby, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. and. Uh, best of luck to you.